Good day guys and welcome to I Construction TV. In this video, we'll be talking about hardcore as an element of the concrete ground floor system. But then, before going into details, if you're new to this channel, please you can do well by hitting the subscribe button, by liking our content and also sharing for us to get more engagement. It is important for us to note that a domestic concrete ground floor has three major components the hardcore, the DPM, and the concrete bed itself. Hardcore are suitable filling materials such as crushed and graded bricks, stones, or concrete. They are usually hard and do not readily absorb water. The hardcore provides a stable bed for concrete slab and the thickness of hardcore ranges from 100mm to 300mm in depth. Note that there are some available materials that can be used as hardcore even though the commonly used hardcore material is gravel and crushed rocks. In some instances, tiles are used but one, they must be free from plaster and wood and any other contaminant. Hardcore as an infill material are used essentially in order to raise the level of the topsoil excavation to a desired level where the German floor or the concrete bed will be placed. The hardcore are also used to provide a clean, dry and a firm working surface. They are also used to ensure consistency in the material over the whole floor and also to reduce capillary action of moisture on the ground because of voids within the hardcore layer. Some of the materials that are used as hardcore include bricks, stones, concrete, rubbles and pavings from excavated top road surfaces. You can see the construction workers transferring sand using sand buckets and pouring them on the surface of the hardcore. Yeah, this is essential because the hardcore has some spaces or voids within them and then they need to be filled in order to reduce the amount of concrete grout that would uh, seep through them. Essentially, the other purpose of doing this is to provide a very good workable platform so that the DPM will be placed and for the DPM to avoid being punctured while transferring or pouring concrete or making the concrete bed. It's important for proper compaction to be done in the hardcore in order to reduce the amount of void that is present as a result of the sizes of the hardcore. This is done by using a compacting machine to run through the surface and perimeter where the hardcore is being placed. How to apply the hardcore? The hardcore should be applied just after filling up to a level, almost at the same level with the last block. In that case, the side of the excavated trench must then be filled with laterite or the available soil that was excavated and backfilled. Note that the hardcore should be well compacted and positioned such that 150mm thickness is left for the concrete floor bed. Since you need to achieve, um, after the hardcore and your DPM, you need to lay your and proof cause that in the floor bed is essential that 150mm thickness is left. And one big thank you for watching this video on hardcore. Do not forget to click the like button, share, comment, and importantly, subscribe. And one last thing I'll be telling us is this engage a professional builder for safer projects, for more economical projects, and for the best practices in construction.